So Paola is one of our favorite designers in Italy. She always has so much life and energy and personality. But just last year, for the first time, she brought us something that no one else has. It truly is a piece of history, and she has agreed to only do these for us. So what happened was she was in Florence, and she was in an ancient, like a really old jewelry shop that's been there for hundreds of years, literally since the Renaissance. And it's very near the Ponte Vecchio, which is, of course, the heart of the jewelry industry in Italy. And this is a jewelry shop that was getting ready to close down. She was kind of going around and looking at things. She went in the basement and she found these amazing molds. They were long elliptical molds, metal molds, that were actually from, she found out afterward when she was looking at them and researching them, that they are actually from the Renaissance, the actual Renaissance. So this is literally hundreds of years ago. The Renaissance that we all look to in Italy, the Renaissance that gave us some of the most amazing thinkers of our time, that changed our perception to humanism, that made huge leaps in art, that just saw a whole new world, an explosion of every type of industry, art, science, thought, um, all happened in the Renaissance. These cups go back to the Renaissance. The molds go back to the Renaissance. And what happened was the wealthy families of that day in Florence would commission a jeweler to create a unique cup that would be made out of gold and showed their interests or their status. And they would wear that cup as a one of a kind signature. And it was one of the things that distinguished them as the wealthy of their time. These are molds directly from the Renaissance. These were made, commissioned by wealthy families to make one-of-a-kind cuffs for only that family. And now those cuffs are being made for us in sterling silver covered in 18 karat gold and rhodium. And it is literally a piece of the past. They are made exactly as they were made in just back then in gold. They're made for us and only us. And we have only done a few of them and they have been unbelievably popular. So this is a brand new one for you. We originally started out with one that's a battle scene. And so I'll see if we can come in and get a little bit of a closer look at this one. This was our original. This is a depiction of a battle scene. Um, and it was very traditional to be part of the festivals uh, in that part of the world in Rome and in that part of the world. This is an ancient Roman battle scene. This is available in all three colors. This was the original cuff. And we're going to give you the option of ordering this one again because everyone has been asking for it. We're also going to give you the option of this brand new cuff with the dog. And I love this for so many reasons. This is actually going to be a Greyhound. And a Greyhound was a very popular dog. It is one of the symbols of the Renaissance. It was a very popular dog for wealthy families to own as pets and for hunting. The Medici family owned Greyhounds. So many of the famous artists during the Renaissance were commissioned to do paintings four famous families that depicted greyhounds. Uh, Michelangelo did some paintings with greyhounds. Um, trying to remember, all of, oh my gosh, I just had them Tintoretto, I believe. There were so many artists of the time that were commissioned to do paintings of greyhounds. So I love this one, and it's a beautiful greyhound in the center, a beautiful ornate design on both sides. This is one that you can just curve to fit your wrist. Um, a little bit. So it's going to be something that works for everyone. We have it in all three colors for you, the rose, the white, and the yellow. And it's just one of the most beautiful cuffs I've ever seen. I love that it comes with a romance card that lets you know that this is truly a piece of history. It is made from a mold from the Renaissance and is made in exactly the way that that original cuff was made. Of course, the original cuff was in gold and this one is going to be in sterling silver. This is a very, very special piece. When you wear this piece, everyone is going to ask about it. You're going to have the most amazing story and you can tell them how the molds for this go back to the Renaissance and were found in an, in an old jewelry store, an old jewelry shop, hundreds of years old in Florence. And then these cuffs were made originally exactly as the originals were made. I love the story. I love that it really is a piece of history. When you think about the wealthy of Florence during the Renaissance, 
Think of the amazing fabrics that came in to Florence from all over the world. The jewelry that was created by some of the most amazing jewelers in the world. A lot of the Renaissance artists started out, by the way, designing jewelry and casting jewelry. That's how in a lot of cases they learned about sculpture. So it was one of the most unbelievable times in history. It was one of the wealthiest times in history. And I love the fact that this cuff is a piece of that for today. It will only be made for us. It will never be made for anywhere else, anyone else. And they are all going to come with the romance card. So you can choose either the dog that's brand new if you're collecting. And if you missed the very first one of the Roman battle scene, you can get that one as well. Beautiful pieces, beautiful story, and a real piece of history.